Hi everyone, this is Lisa. Um, this is video two that I hope to get uploaded um, either late tonight or early Sunday morning. Uh, let's see. So this video is going to be on Happy Mail and the scrap gans that I've made. Uh, I made them last week. And if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, you have already seen them, but um, I wanted to show you guys how they turned out, what I used, what stitch, chains, and all that stuff. So um, the first items that I wanted to show you were the two that I got um, from Etsy shops. There were, hold on, I think there's some in there. <laughs> it feels funny. Oh, cool. Okay, I had a pen in there. Or Anyway, um, so oh, what date was it? It was um, August, August 28th. Yes, August 28th. Um, first of all, I grew up with six brothers and I have a son as well. And we are, um, I can't say obsessed, but we are really into comic book characters, superheroes, DC, Marvel. Um, so when I found out that Chadwick Boseman had passed away on the 28th, um, I wanted uh, a tote bag or a project bag, just something that I could have because, you know, I've got Star Wars and I've got Star Trek. I've got Harry Potter. You guys know how I am. So <laughs> I found two that I really liked. They were on sale. And um, for those of you who don't know who Chaz, Chadwick Boseman um, was, he was the actor that played uh, Black Panther in the Marvel, the Avengers movies, and then Black Panther um, movie itself. Um, I wanted to get something. I also ordered something for my son, which I can't show because his birthday is next month. So, <laughs> so you'll have to wait because he watches this. Um, but it, it was sad. And the reason it was sad was because he had been fighting colon cancer for the last four years. And if you've been watching my channel and you know me, you know that my husband had colon cancer last year. So it did hit close to home for me and anyone else who's dealing with any type of illness, um, you know, let alone, you know, cancer. But, um, I, you know, we thought he was a great actor. He did like 42 and, um, oh man, there were so many, you guys should definitely check him out if, uh, you don't know who he is. And then even if you do, there's, they've got a nice little, um, copulation of his videos and some of his interviews and stuff on, on YouTube. So the first thing I ordered was just like a little notions bag and this was from Three Dogs and a Cat Sewing. And that's what it looks like. And it was just, I thought it was just really cute. And like I said, they were on sale. I, I couldn't tell you how much it was. I didn't really care. But I've got, I was making a hat. So it's got half of a skein in there. Okay, well, probably more than half, I guess. And then like a little ball of yarn that I was making a headband with. And that fit in there, nice and comfortable. It zips right up. Oh, if I get the right side. And so there it is, nice and soft. It's got a little thing that I can put. I wouldn't, I won't use this, I don't think. I'm just gonna put it in my other bag. So that one, like I said, this one is from Three Dogs and a Cat Sewing, and I'll put their link in the description box below. And then the other thing that I purchased, oh, I've got my little thing here. This one was from Knots, K-N-O-T, not sewing, not so knitting. Oh, not so knitting. That's what it is. And I wanted just a little tote. I like that you put purple handles because it is reversible. So it's got this cute purple pattern on the inside. And then on the outside, it's got the Black Panther on it. And I thought this was really neat. And it's large enough. You guys know I carry my crocheting all over the place. So this is definitely going to be, even though it doesn't close at the top, um, I will just have this inside of there. And then, you know, any any extras, larger projects that I'm working on. But um, I thought this was really neat. And folds up, washable. So, oh, it's upside down. <laughs> you can't wait a minute it's still upside down there we go there it is there's a, a good picture so there's that and uh it's just you know he was i think 
43 years old. Oh, so young. It's just, you know, it just gets you. Um, okay, so I had some other... Oh, I put it over here. Hold on, you guys. And then I ordered from this wonderful crocheter and podcaster. And oh, her name is Crochet Luna. Um or her not her name name but that's her, her podcast her name is claudia but um she is crochet luna she has these wonderful pins and she sells them on etsy and i ordered two let me show the two that i ordered Ooh, i'm trying to figure where is it at there's that one okay so these are the two that i ordered from her let's see if i can turn it this one's better Okay, let's see if you can see this one. You see what that says? <laughs> Best crochet mama ever. <laughs> and I thought that was really cute. So I ordered that one. And then you guys know that fall is my favorite time of the year. So I ordered this one. It says fall crochet, yay. <laughs> and Miss Claudia sent these in the bag okay so she says hi lisa thanks so much for your order i included some extra pins to keep or give away stay safe stay well claudia and so claudia thank you so much for that so i am going to keep one pin um and it's this one crochet love you guys know how i feel about hearts and the little cheeks are hearts and i think it's just adorable so i have to keep that one but these will be in a giveaway that'll be coming up. Uh, so this one says project on timeout. And then this one, crochet inside, little arrows. And I got two of these, crocheter for president. Not a bad idea, just saying. And then another one that says crochet, best crochet mom ever. So, Claudia, thank you so much. So, I took, like I said, I kept one. So, she sent me six pins extra, you guys. And I thought that was just absolutely wonderful. Oh, and I got, I have a little crafter decal, which I thought was great. So, like I said, I am going to keep this one, but the rest will be put in a giveaway. So, I just thought that was so wonderful of her. And if you don't, um, know who Crochet Luna podcast is, definitely check her out. I'm going to put a link in the description box below. And um, she is very talented. She designs. She does um, crochet alongs. She has themed crochet alongs. She is just amazing. So definitely check her out. So thanks again, Claudia. Um, my last... Uh, is this my last? Yes. My last happy mail was um, the... You guys, if you saw the first video that I've uploaded, you would have known that I've been um, up until yesterday, or no, Friday was my last quarantine day uh, due to COVID. And we were also um, kind of on pins and needles because Jack had colon cancer last year and less than a year later, they found three more polyps um, when he had his colonoscopy done on September 2nd. So we were waiting for the results and nobody knew this I hadn't said anything at all and then I get this box in the mail from Seta from Seta's place and um, it was I don't know lots of tears were shed guys because sometimes you just go through things um, and it's not that you don't want to share them but you just um, I don't know. It's I, I can't put it into words, but what, what I know is God was sending a set of messages for me through her because I really, really needed this at that moment in my t in in time from what I was thinking and everything that we were dealing with. And it's it's just so wonderful to see um how he knows all and how he can take care of you even when you think that you know he either isn't there or it, you know I he's got so much on his plate you know what I mean <laughs> so it, it's it's um 
it, it, sometimes you just got to take a breath. You got to step back and you just have to say, okay, it never gives you more than you can handle, right? I totally, totally agree with that. And so when you step back and you just go, okay, whatever happens, we're going to deal with this. Whatever those results are that comes back, I've been sick, we're just going to deal with this. Because um, God knows what he's doing all the time. Never a question in my mind. So I got this and she sent me this beautiful letter and she just said that, you know, God was speaking to her um, to, you know, contact me and she did and it was absolutely wonderful. So Seda, I know that you watched this and I just want to thank you again so much. It was wonderful um, to, uh, you know, be able to touch base with you and, and it was just what I needed. I'm telling you, it was just what I needed. So uh, this was just, man, when I stopped crying and actually just kind of took a, took a step back and saw what she had made for me. Oh, guys, it is just beautiful. She made me a prayer shawl, okay, in these gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Look at that. And I've never seen it. I'm going to stand up. There's a button, okay? There's a button, so you put it over your shoulders. I'm going to do this right now. Put it over your shoulders. Oh, my gosh, and it's so warm. I don't know what she used, but it is so warm. Look at that, okay? It's soft. I don't know what yarn this is, but I love the colors. And on the back, I don't know if you can see. Yep, look at that. There's a cross on the back. <laughs> I love this. I absolutely love it. Look at this. Isn't that wonderful? I just think it's absolutely beautiful. <sighs> and yeah. It was so, the timing was just so amazing. Um, it was just the best. The absolute, and I just, I just, I just love it. Seta, you're probably going to have to send me um, the pattern, unless you just whipped it up. Because, you know, if you guys don't know who Seta is by now, you definitely need to check her out. I'll have a link in the description box below. She does her own patterns. She has her own uh, channel of course she does so much you definitely need to check her so she might have designed this so if you did Seta, please let us know I mean look at it. it's got like the little at the bottom the little um the little triangle but it is just so pretty so this is going to stay in my truck when I am traveling now that it is getting cooler um this is going to be my go-to, so <laughs> I'm keeping this as very, very close to me. <laughs> and it is just beautiful, you guys. I'm telling you. I said, you might be, yeah, I need to know what yarn that is because that is just gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? <sighs> and, you know, he just, he, <sighs> God has always been there. Uh, you know, even through what you think is the worst time in your life. Um, you know, just don't ever give up on him because he will never give up on you. Just saying. So, <laughs> let me get this stuff out of the way here. All right. So now, <laughs> after my yummy, delicious, beautiful, amazing, happy mail, I now have three uh, scrap gans to show you. Ooh, coffee's getting cold. It's time to refill it. <laughs> okay, so like I said, if you've been following me on Facebook and Instagram, um, and if you've seen the first video that I've uploaded already, you you know that I am um, getting some donations together and for, uh, for the kids, foster kids and kids that are being adopted out or on the list to be adopted that haven't been adopted yet for um, Webster Cantrell Youth Advocacy here in Decatur. And I wanted, <clears throat> excuse me, you guys know I'm also trying to get this room organized. And so I had so much scrap yarn in those big containers, um, the little uh, 
cheese ball containers. I'm sure I've shown you. Anyway, um, excuse me. Whew, let me get another sip real quick. Oh, that's better. Um, so I wanted to do just a really quick scrap can. I didn't want it to take me a long time because I wanted to get a lot of them used up. And I've got someone who's, who's going to be dropping off uh, yarn that they've had for a while. She's going to drop it off for me. And I want to just use it up and make something quick that these kids can use that we can donate. Now, these three have been taken by my children. But anyway, these are so, these are like the prototypes, I guess. I've never made a scrap again. I've been crocheting for like what seems like forever, and I had never made one. So what I did was I was, I of course, I went through YouTube and I was trying to find a, um, uh, a channel or, you know, a podcaster that would just kind of give me an idea of the best way to get started. And there are so many. Boy, are they so many. But what I, what I picked to use as a guide was Jada and Stitches, her scrap gan, because I want it to be, when I made it, I didn't want to have to put edging on it. I just want to, you know, whip it out, fold it up, weave in my ends, if any, if any, and then just stack it in a pile so that I can get them donated. And with her tutorial, I can do that. So, um, and I'll link that in the description box below, but what Jada does, um, she gets all of her light colored yarn together and then all her dark colored yarn together and gets one dark and one light and ties it off and then does her blanket. So that's what I did with this first one. Um, and then I did the other two just a little bit different. So the first one was the way Jada did it. And I believe she did, um, I started with a chain of 80 plus one. So, um, and that 80 chain should get you at about this, these blankets are 30 by 60. Uh, and I did 50 rows. Yeah. I put down that I did 50 rows. So when you do a chain of 81, I used a, a P hook. Let me show you. Or not a P hook, an M. So this is my M hook. This is the one that I used. Okay, and I held two strands together, one light and one dark. And this, oh my goodness, is what I ended up with. This is this is the starting, because I remember I started with the coral. And let me see if I can stand up and kind of show you. So this is the first one. And you see, the, the way you do it, it, it just makes a nice straight edge anyway. So it, this is perfect. And I'm, I'm holding it right here and it's, <laughs> it's draping the floor. I'm so short. Hold on. Okay. So that's the edge. Yeah. So there you go. So here I am. It's kind of right by my nose, but I thought it was really cute. Abby really, really loved it. And <laughs> she took it. She took it the very, like the very second I weaved in the very last thing she, uh, I asked her to hold it up and she just kind of ran off with it. So I kind of like this section right here. I think that's pretty cool. But anyway, I love it because you know how it just stops and then go. That's, that's really cool looking to me. So, and that's the end. So this one is the one that Abby took. And like I said, they're, they've been measuring 30 by 60. So this is hers. So colorful. I, I can see now why everyone is absolutely fascinated with these blankets because they work up really quick. I made this in one day and then I decided, I'm going to just toss it right there. I'm just going to get that at me. And then I decided to do one with all pastel colors. And this one is the one that Amanda, I think she took it for Jordan because it kind of reminds her of like unicorn colors. I took all, this is all like that old uh, Red Heart pastel, oh, the I don't even know the name of it, but it, I think it was like the Red Heart Sport in the pastel variegated. So I just used that and I just made sure that they were all light colors that would kind of go well. I really, really like that section. <laughs> and this is what it ended up looking like. 
So was not bad at all. I really like it. Okay, so there's that one. And I now I've already showed this to Jordan. I I begged the kids to let me please show them to you guys. And this is her section that she loves. She says this part right here is her favorite. Now some of this is like really like it has sparkles in it. I don't know if you can see that, but this section right here it was some kind of metallic yarn, and she just loved this whole section. So there's the pastel one. <laughs> and then this is the one I just finished the other day. And this one I used a lot of dark ones. You can tell the difference. And I had a, this, this was the last one, um, or the last set of, of ball, yeah, I haven't really, I just finished it. I just need to, like, trim it up. But um, I'll show you this side. It's probably better. If you notice, it's a lot darker. Because I, I had a lot more dark balls of yarn left over, yarn scraps, than I did light. This was probably the lightest one there, and that was a variegated. This was actually, um, the yellow part was the section of yarn that Seta had sent me um, that I made a Yvette shawl with that was designed by Rel from the Dabbling Hook. So I had just a little little bit left, so that's what that's from. See, it's funny the things you remember. <laughs> and so that's how this one turned out. So it had nice dark, I had lots of corals and rust colors, reds, purples, dark blues, dark greens. So this one I thought, th this was probably the lighter. This is a really lighter part too. Um, that was, um, what was this? Uh, I don't know. Some kind of ver or yeah, it was a variegated yarn. But yeah. And they they all are different. And I think they're absolutely wonderful. And I will be starting a fourth one, which will probably go to my son <laughs> because I've given one to my kids. So this one is our oldest daughter Jessica. She decided she wanted that one. This one went to my middle daughter, Amanda. And this one went to my youngest daughter, Abigail. <laughs> so um, my son, Nathan, will be getting one. In, and his birthday's in a few weeks. So, well, not a few weeks. What is, oh my gosh, it's a month. Today's, because it's my grandson's birthday, Jacob. But a month from today is Amanda's birthday and Nathan's birthday. Because they were both born on October 12th. So, <laughs> again... I have no idea how long it took because I didn't just sit there and just crochet it. Um, when I do the next one, I have already decided that I'm going to, every time I stop crocheting, I'm going to like have my little stopwatch. I'm going to stop it and then go do whatever I need to do, cook, whatever. And then when I come back and start it up again, I'll start that timer. That way, I will be able to let you guys know exactly how long it took me to finish. And I have so much scrap yarn. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have like this big, huge bag um, from Hobby Lobby from when I went my last haul that I was just putting them in there because I found a bunch in the closet when I was looking around to try to get this room organized better. And I thought, man, I'm going to have so many blankets, but I'm just going to take them to Webster. So, because um, some of those kids don't, uh, you know, they don't leave. And it's... It's sad, but it's really hard to place an older child. So once they usually reach about 11, 12 years old, right when they're starting to, you know, have have feelings and change and, and you know, attitude sometimes, it, it's like nobody wants to deal with it. And that's sad, but that's just an unfortunate, you know, part of what we're, what we live in now. This world is just crazy. Um, and I think that that is when kids, you know, all kids that are in this situation really, really need help and love and, and nurturing. But it's just sad that when they get older, nobody wants to deal with an older child. So um, these, like I said, 50 rows, starting with a chain of 80 plus one, and then um, half double crochet, back and forth, back and forth, chain one at the end. Um, of each end of each each time you end a row <laughs> you chain one 
and it's just repeating until you and you know you can make it longer to I'm five four and a half so like if I'm sitting that's how I measured it if I was sitting on my couch that's how I measured the first one so that's why I stopped at 50 because I thought most most kids unless they specifically say they're taller like a boy um that's a good like when you're sitting lap or if you just want to take a nap or something that's it's width wise it's good also to just kind of cover up on so and it's it doesn't take up you know that it folds up really well see so it's got a good it's got a good um that's something they can carry with them so when it's time for them to go they can just carry it put it in a suitcase throw it in a bag and you know they'll have something of their own to take with them so that's why I just, you know, like I said, that's why I came up with that size, 30 by 60. I have no idea what size um, Jada's turned out to be. I'm not sure if she says it in the video. I'll link it. I'll link it below, though. But anyway, that's my, that's my, my scrap can and wonderful, wonderful, happy mail. My beautiful shawl that I got from Seta. Um, I just wanted to share that with you guys. And um, also thank you for all your prayers and your comments because you are wonderful. And I have missed you guys all so, so much. So thank you again for that. I'm going to end with uh, this one. If you guys have any questions for me, anything that I might have forgotten to go through, just put it down in the comments below. You can also email me at happytohook at gmail.com. That will also be below. And for all the ones who asked about helping, um, I have... The I will have the address there. If you don't want to send them to me, that is perfectly fine. Um, if you do send to me, though, any donations for Webster, I would love to show them before I send them. But I usually go to that building like once a week, sometimes twice. And I do have a box of items to take to them this week coming up. So um, that information will be below as well. My P.O. box is down there. And like I said, any questions at all, please feel free to let me know. I, I just bring them on. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you. Thank you for sharing this video, watching, subscribing. Thank you. Um, uh, I think that's it. I might have another one coming up. Uh, another video to upload. Hopefully I can get this up and running um, Sunday for you guys. I uh, hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Please, please stay safe. Stay healthy. I will see you when I see you. Happy hooking. Bye.